Rock versus T Top. Now, to be honest, this is a battle that I never thought I was gonna see at one point. Probably because of how close T Top and Briz are, and I know that Briz is friends with Tay Rock. But this is actually gonna be, I feel like it's gonna be one of the ones. Because as far as the personals go, you don't know what they know about each other. I always thought they were relatively cordial because when that whole situation happened with Briz and Moot, obviously T Top and Rock was on the same side of that. But I feel like this could go one of two ways. It can either get real personal and uncomfortable or it's just going to be a bar fest. But we all know T-Top is an angle master. I feel like, I hope he doesn't use any fake angles. Like, honestly, I don't like when people do that in battle rap. They both could probably pull out the girl angle. But that would be kind of crazy. It would, it, I feel like that would kind of shake down like the whole uh, clean paper versus T-Top shit. Of course, that's not going to be an easy win like that battle was. Even though I felt like QP was heating up in that second round. But still, I think this battle is going to be a classic. Because we know how T-Top gets and we know how Tayrock gets. Tayrock, especially lately, has been probably at the top of his game better than he's ever been. When you look at the material he even had for Danny Myers, even though I feel like he lost that battle, Tayrock was still wigging in that battle. He went crazy versus Twerk. I had him winning that battle. He went crazy versus Geechee Gotti. I had Rock winning that battle too. Like, Rock right now is the best he's ever been. So, I feel like he might beat T-Top, in my opinion. But it all depends because we already know how T-Top gets when he starts spitting those personal raps. And that shit starts getting personal and that shit starts landing. Then he could give anybody a long night. Because we see his third round versus Rum Nitty. When that shit started landing, it got scary in there for Rum Nitty. Even though I feel like Rum won the first two. Second round, clearly. T-Top's third got spooky for Rum Nitty. And then we seen how T-Top started heating up versus QP, and it got really spooky in there. He started heating up versus Mike P, and it got spooky in there. Even as far back as him heating up versus Mav Hoffa. When he started playing with the same words, when he was talking about, I'd never like the bully except for in just in case, and he said, clip full of Jaheens just in case. Like, come on now. We already know Rock gets into those pockets with the words when he start playing around with the same words over and over. Like, I know not everyone liked that Rod Around bar where he said this will pick Rada up and give Rada a Rod Around. I thought that was tough, but we already know Rock gets into those pockets. He goes AMG mode. T-Top gets into that wordplay personal pocket, and it can really get scary for niggas. So I feel like this is going to be a classic battle, in my opinion. Honestly, I don't even want them to go personal like that. It would be dope if they just kind of went crazy and just it was a bar fest because we know T-Top's capable. We know he has the ability to just bar it out with anybody. So honestly, this doesn't even have to go there. But I have a feeling that it is going to go there just because of how T-Top attacks his opponents where he's extremely direct and he like he just gets personal. And I feel like Tayrock's going to probably know that going in and he might write some girlfriend bars or baby mama bars just going into the battle just in case or he might just have a clip of that just in case the dude tries to go at you know lady caution but what do y'all think how y'all think this battle gonna go honestly i'm looking forward to this there's a lot more battles i want to see happen because we've seen how briz and tay rock was fire even though that was old battle that is one of my favorite battles to this day like and who knows this might be another this might be one of the best t-tops we've seen because tay rock tends to stand in front of the scariest rounds from niggas I think Briz second for Tay Rock was one of Briz's best rounds. I think Rich Dollars third for Tay Rock was one of his best rounds. He stood in front of that crazy Rum Nitty second round, that Chess first round, that Geechee first round, that Mook third round, that Cac that Calico first round. Tay Rock stood in front of some scary shit when you think about it. So he's gonna be ready. Now, I'm calling this a classic, but what y'all think?